Hair Grease is still the best kept hair secret and the most important product in my entire hair arsenal. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom hair grease using cloves. And this is my healthy, beautiful, and luxurious hair after many, many years of using hair grease, as well as the methods and practices in my recipe bible and hair care bundle, which are linked in the top right corner, of course. As you can see, my hair is full, my hair is super dense, it's even all the way down to the ends, and it has a beautiful sheen. It's deeply moisturized and deeply nourished, and I rarely suffer from breakage. I used to have a severe breakage issue that was solved by my grease use. If you're tired of your scalp being inflamed and itchy, if you're tired of your hair growth being stagnant, if you want your follicles to naturally produce thicker hair, then this is the formula just for you. So stay tuned because this is a bit of a more complex formulation and I'm really excited to share it with you all. Hey Z-Stars, what's good in the hood of the Proverbs? It's your girl Zara, popularly and lovingly known, of course it's Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Now today we're going to be making a custom grease with cloves and I'm super excited to share this with y'all because the clove is one of my favorite ingredients. It has incredible properties which of course we're going to explore and I've touched on in other videos but we will reiterate a few of those really incredible properties. Now I don't want to waste your time. I of course want us to get right into the video so before we do please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up so YouTube knows that you enjoy this type of content. Of course, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you've ever made your own hair grease in your home. Be sure to share this with your friends and your loved ones and anyone whose scalp needs some deliverance. <laughs> and of course, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know every time I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. And please don't skip those ads so I could keep these videos super sustainable just for you. So now it's time to infuse our black castor oil. Now I don't want to talk too much throughout this section because everything I'm doing you guys can pretty much see it on the screen. So let me know in the comments down below, do you prefer when I talk a lot or do you like when I just let you see things play out? So anyway, let's weigh all our herbs. Great, now that we've weighed everything, we're going to get out my trusty Westy hot plate and we're going to toast the herbs. For the whole herbs, I'm actually going to toast them one by one, but you guys will see me combine the powders. Now again, I'm not trying to talk too much, so let me just let you see how this works out. Ooh, but quick tip, be sure to be mindful so that you're not burning these herbs. Please keep the temperatures relatively low. And of course, remember when you can perceive the aroma very, very well that you can remove them from the stove top. So as you know, normally I would go over all of the ingredients, but I've gone over these ingredients a million and one times in different videos. So there's gonna be a playlist in the top right corner for you guys to check out to get some more insight on these ingredients. These processes are also processes I've gone over. So you'll see those in that playlist in more depth. I don't think we need to keep beating a dead horse, you feel me? Great, so now we're gonna measure out our black castor oil and we're going to start the infusion process. Now remember, this is gonna be so much more potent because we've toasted the herbs. Now, of course, I'm using my trusty Westy double boiler method because I'm not gonna have no burnt oil, period. And let's keep that temperature super low.
Now guys, I'm speeding through this because we've done this a million and one times and have just transferred it to a mason jar. And after a period of about, mm, let's say 10 plus days, I'm gonna strain it out. Because we added heat, it's not going to be as long, but you can, you know, be extra and do it for longer if you want. Now, if you haven't already noticed, every recipe that I'm using in this particular video is actually from my recipe Bible, my award-winning recipe Bible, period. Of course, that's going to be linked in the top right corner in the description box down below. Now, it's a labor of love and I've put everything that I've learned over the more than 13 years of my natural hair journey. Here are some comments from people who've already made use of the recipe Bible, of course, over here, over there, over here, some over here, so that you all can get an idea of what exactly it can do for you. Now again, it's going to be linked to the top right corner and the description box down below. I've been natural now for over a decade and a half, and pretty much as soon as I started my journey, I was making products for myself and for my loved ones. Those many years of perfected formulas have been compiled into this comprehensive book just for you. So if you want to take your hair care journey to the next level, if you want to experience unparalleled growth and ease along your journey, then please be sure to check out my recipe Bible, which of course, again, is going to be linked in the top right corner and the description box down below. These are indeed the recipes I've used to grow, thicken, strengthen, and completely nourish my hair. Don't forget to let me know how your journey goes in the comments down below with my recipe Bible. So now we're finally going to put together our clove grease. So I forgot to record this part, but I just add beeswax. And then I'm adding my petrolatum. I'm adding my lanolin. And I'm adding my yellow sulfur powder. Now all of this is going in the heated phase. When it comes to these kinds of formulations, you have a hot phase and a cold phase or a cool down phase. So you have to be really um, meticulous to ensure that you don't damage the ingredients, right? So now of course we're bringing out my trusty wussy hot plate and the double boiler because I can't shout. <laughs> but we're cranking the temperature up a bit this time, especially because beeswax has a higher melting point and is really, really stiff and rigid. So we're just gonna time lapse this and let it melt down. And then of course you see me stirring. Now I would like to point out some of my mistakes. This sulfur powder is really not like micronized enough. It's a bit too big. So the weight is like making it sink to the bottom. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be suspended. Now I could also have added a suspending agent, maybe that would have helped, but you know, I'm still new to this, so don't judge me. But anyway, as it's cooled down quite a bit, I'm going to start adding everything else. Let's do the infused black castor oil. Then we're adding our mineral oil. Now this is going to help the texture be a bit creamier, especially because we used a lot of beeswax and petrolatum and lanolin. Next is our vitamin E. And last but not least, our essential oil. Now I probably should have used an immersion blender, but guys, I'm still new to this and I do have one, but I wasn't really thinking, but next time, Next time I will, I promise you. Now before this cools too much, we're going to pour it into the containers because again, that beeswax is gonna make this real solid, real fast. So I don't wanna waste any time with that. Let's do that really quickly. And after some time in the fridge, this is what it's looking like. What do y'all think for my first rodeo? <laughs> I really like it. I think it's beautiful. And the texture is incredible. I can't wait to use this on my scalp, which of course will be in the next section.
So have you made your grief? I hope so, because we're getting ready to go into the application process. It's really straightforward, and I'm going to walk you guys through it. So let's get with it in the next scene. Hey y'all, so now we're getting into the application process and I know you can see these beautiful bulky twists. I actually have a video all about how to do them on any hair type and it's gonna be linked in the top right corner so please be sure to check that out. But basically I'm just gonna apply this exactly like I would apply my Sulfur 8 or any other scalp grease. The only one I'd be using is Sulfur 8 and this one that I just made, period. <laughs> So now that we've applied the clove grace to our scalp, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like in this next clip. And now here's what my hair looks like. As you can see, my scalp looks really healthy. My hair looks really healthy. Everything is popping. Everything is on point. You know, we don't do unhealthy scalps over here because we have our clove grease. And you can have yours too. Wow, another journey through the galaxy complete. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And of course, if you've made it this far, you know what to do. Do I even need to tell you? Drop some blue emojis in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. But of course, before you click off or watch the next video I've told you to watch, <laughs> please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, share, show me some love in the comments, you guys. I love interacting with you and it really makes this whole thing so special. After all, I do do these videos just for you. So please keep watching, keep engaging, keep interacting. I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.